Hello Year 5. I hope you have had a lovely and productive day so far and that you are ready for our science lesson today. Please write down the date and learning intention for today's lesson. This was the lesson that we were supposed to do in school where you were going to bring your amazing homework in to share the life cycles that you had researched at home. Don't worry, we will still get the opportunity to do that when we are back in school and lots of them I know will be put on display. Try and think back to your homework during this lesson and recall what you learnt when you were doing your research. I would like you to consider the following questions. What is a life cycle? What life cycles do you know about? Can you describe the life cycle of an animal or plant? So think back to your homework. Have a think to yourself or discuss with someone around you. Pause the video while you do so. Animals have a life cycle that includes birth, growth, reproduction and death. Can you remember what reproduction is? Think back to our seven life processes, Mrs Nurg. What was the action that we did for reproduction? Reproduction is when living things produce offspring. So when a human has a baby or when a dog gives birth to puppies, for example, or in plants is when a plant sheds its seeds to grow more plants. Young animals grow to become adults. And babies grow to become human adults. Once an animal becomes an adult, it can then have young or offspring of its own. And we know that death is a part of every life cycle. You may have heard the word lifespan before. It's the amount of time that an animal tends to live for. It begins with an animal's birth and ends with its death. Different animals have different lifespans. Those of you that know me will understand why this is so terrifying. Female tarantulas live for 10 to 20 years. Alligators can live up to 60 years. Have a look at the average lifespans of these animals. Remember, not every single chimpanzee will live for 44 years, but the average is the most common. Do any of these surprise you? Pause the video while you have a look and see what you think. The life cycle of a mammal involves three main stages. The first one is gestation. That's another word for pregnancy or the time that a baby or offspring is growing inside the mother. So a beagle, for example, starts as an embryo which grows inside the mother dog and it is completely reliant upon the mother. It needs the mother for all of its nutrients and to help it grow. Then it becomes a young dog or, as we know, a puppy which is when it has its main period of growth and it develops its independence from its parents. And then finally, it grows into an adult dog and it usually would mate with a member of a dog from the opposite sex. And then adult females nurse their young. Kangaroos are a special type of mammal called a marsupial and they have very tiny babies who crawl into a pouch where they feed and grow after their birth. Another interesting fact is that there are some mammals that lay eggs and they are called monotremes. 
I wonder if you could research any information about these animals. Now let's look at amphibians. The life cycles of amphibians involves five main stages. Pause the video now and read the stages out loud. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't get this link to work in my video, but I highly recommend you go onto YouTube and you look up the frog life cycle song. It's called Metamorphosis by Jack Hartman and watch it. I was really looking forward to showing it to you in class and we will definitely sing it together next week. But have a look because it's really entertaining, but it also does explain really well the life cycle of a frog. Now pause the video and read the information about a reptile's life cycle. Like with a frog, most insects undergo complete metamorphosis. This involves four or three stages. Here is an example of a four stage metamorphosis, which is called complete metamorphosis. So eggs are laid by the female insect, and then those eggs hatch into larva. So for example, a caterpillar or a maggot is an example of larva. The pupa is formed when the larva molts for the last time. They have a hard protective coating and they're often camouflaged. And then finally, the adult breaks out of the pupa and matures. Incomplete metamorphosis involves three stages. Eggs are laid by the female insect, but then they hatch into nymphs. They often look like a smaller adult insect, but then the nymph grows into an adult form. Sometimes it sheds skin. Fully functional wings, for example, show that an insect is, is at its adult stage. And then those adults lay eggs. A couple of slightly terrifying facts for you here. Often after mating with a male, the female spiders eat the male. And some baby spiders, otherwise known as spiderlings, eat the mother spiders when they grow up. And this is an incredibly gory fact. Some wasps lay their eggs in the head of ants and then when the eggs hatch, the baby wasps eat the ant from the inside out. Can you imagine that? Now pause the video and read the information about the life cycle of a bird. Here's a chart to show the comparison between different life cycles of animals. Do any of these surprise you? Were any of them what you expected? Pause the video and have a think. Your first task today is to complete a human life cycle. There are pictures included in the home learning pack, but it doesn't matter if you haven't been able to print it out because you can just draw your own version of the pictures. So what you need to do is you're going to order the pictures in the correct order and next to or underneath each picture, you write which stage it shows. For example, adult, child, fetus, elderly, baby or teenager. Then you need to match the age, 13 to 17, 3 to 12, 67 plus, non-applicable, 18 to 66 or 0 to 2. And then like we've seen with the life cycle examples in the video, you need to draw the arrows between each stage showing the cycle. As an extension, you might want to add some notes about each stage of the human life cycle. Pause the video while you complete this task. Hopefully your human life cycle will look something like this. 
have a look and see, were you correct? Is there anything you need to edit? This is your optional extension task. So you need to try and think back to the animal that you researched for homework and see if you can answer these questions comparing the human life cycle with whichever animal you studied. So for example, you might want to talk about the number of stages in the life cycle. Are they similar or different? How is the offspring produced? For example, is it eggs or does it grow in the mother's tummy? Do they spend their life on land or in water? And how does that affect the life cycle? So if you'd like to have a go at this task now, writing a paragraph or two, using these prompt questions, comparing the human life cycle with your chosen animal's life cycle. I'd love to see your work, so please do take a photo of it and email it to your teacher, or if you perhaps type it up, then you could email it across or bring it in next week. I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. Well done, and I will see you soon.